Try it one more time. Broadcasting live from upstate New York, a technology talk show that puts you and your questions first. It's Tech Talk Live. Yeah, yeah baby. baby. It's Tech Talk Live coming to you live from upstate New York. I'm Flipper. And I'm JJ. And we're a computer talk show. Computer technology talk, talk show. show. Really, really big show. Show, 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 show. show. Hey, what's going on? Good morning. It's... Good morning, Finger Lakes. We're a little bit late because we had a little bit of technical difficulties here. Just uh, come to find out the software that we use uh, actually authenticates the internet and the uh, site that we use the software from actually got all their passwords hacked. So they required you to reset the password before you actually do a show. So it took a few minutes. So Yeah, right. So here we are. Isn't that funny? That's weird. It is. So anyway, we're here, Tech Talk Live. I'm Flipper. He's JJ. Give us a call. If you got computer questions, technology questions, you can call us. 315-220-0692. Or you can give us an email out on the web at uh, techtalkliveny at gmail.com. Check us out on Facebook. Share us. Like us. Like us. Woo! Right. I'm I'm a little tired this morning. You know, I got a lot going on, so. He does. Yes, it's quite interesting. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. You got a lot of moving to do. Yeah, I do got a lot of moving to do. So shall we update everybody? Did we, we let people. Know I think last we time. Let, let people know last time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm pretty much I accepted a new job out of state and I'm getting ready to move there. And as long as the plan stays the way it is, that's where we're heading. We're heading to Illinois. 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 Off to Illinois. Uh, so this will probably be the last show for a little at least while now, anyway. Yeah. So until we get a house and settled, and I can <clears throat> set up another studio. Right, right, and figure out a way still, we could still debate on whether I'm taking this studio or if uh, Finger Lakes One is going to, you know, take it or update you're going to take a. it. Up, update Studio A. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're doing yet. So, but yeah, this is our last show for a little while. So, if you want to give us right. a call, give us a call and get in on the conversation. Probably if be at not, least until after the new year. Probably at least probably, min- minimum yeah. or at the earliest after the new year. Yeah, probably. I'm assuming because I mean, there's a lot. There's going to be a lot to do. Man. Yeah. So. So episode eighty-five. Epi- we made it to episode eighty-five. 85. Yeah. Through everything, we made it through episode yeah. eighty-five. That's is, pretty good. This is episode eighty-five. Yeah, we did all right. Yeah. So, anywho, but everybody keeps telling me you're going to still do it again. You've been yelling at me every every yeah. day. Just to, we're going to be doing it again. So I got to see my ugly mug in the. Uh, oh, you screen. want the projector on? Okay. Yeah. yeah there you go. Hey, How's there that? Is that better? Uh, listen, I'm centered in the screen. All right. right. There you go. Right. Yeah. Shake your head. Shake your head. Yeah. Bubble heads. There you go. So anyway, so give us a call three one five two two zero zero six nine two. Wish God. Flipper and B the best. Or just say, thank God you're off the air. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, might as well do the show like we normally do. So, you think? I don't know. Are you ready for Gripe of the Week already? Do you have a Gripe of the Week? I have a Gripe of the Week. Okay, let's do Gripe of the Week. I'm going to miss that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Gripe of the Week. Anyway, recently uh, there was a competition between women and men in social engineering com- competition. Oh, and I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, I've always preached it that social engineering is real, and there's two different types of social engineering. You have the hacking type social engineering, and then you have the social engineering that the government does, and right. you know, politics and so on and so forth. So. Uh, this was more the uh, social engineering of hacking, you know, based around hacking. Uh-huh. In the first phase, 20 contents- contestants worked to get information on target companies from publicly available sources. The last phase is a 25-minute marathon of phone calls where contestants pump victims for information. This ranges from the mundane, do you have a cafeteria, to the critical, do you have disk encryption? Ooh. Sounds so, like fun. what? Sounds like fun. It sounds like a great competition, uh, but really, it came down to battle of the sexes. Right, right, right. Women utterly destroyed the men in the competition, mostly because 
they could get their way a lot easier because they would call guys. Oh. The guys did not have the same effect <laughs> on women. <laughs> So I thought that was I thought that was phenomenal. Right. That you know I you know I, I I'm I'm mad and my gripe is is that okay fine you know they have the sexual advantage, right. but I don't know if they necessarily always have the uh, target advantage. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know so I don't know. A few of them may surprise you though. I think. Well, I think well. People surprise me all the time. I mean, you know, right. some people are just like, you know, uh, you would think that they're pretty intelligent people, and all of a sudden it's like, boom. It's like, wow, you are way out there. Holy right. cow, you know. How are we looking over there on your screen? We're looking pretty good. Why? Looking at the finger like one feed. And, oh, now we're clear all of a sudden. Wow, we were like all fuzzy. Oh, well. Hey. Just cleared. Just cleared up. Just you know, like, it's so weird because you, snap. you know, you now that they did the YouTube thing, uh -huh. It's weird because if it's if you're not getting enough streaming power on your tablet, and see that's probably the other problem. You're trying to go out and stream the same feed back to us, and you probably shouldn't. But right, it just takes more bandwidth and takes away from the feed. So ah. yeah, so that's what we got turbo for. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, I thought this competition was really interesting. I was reading about it. If you want to go read about it, it's on Security Watch on PC Mag. It was really, really a great uh, article. Uh, and I think my biggest gripe was was that, you know, the men destroyed the women in the competition of the gaining access to publicly available resources uh -huh. versus the women doing the access via talking to people. So actually doing the social Social engineering. You know, it, it's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> you know? You do you have get, an adage for every situation people, on the show? I mean, really. People get places by knowing people. That's that's true. That's very, it's very... not what you know, it's who you know sometimes. A, a lot of times, actually. You know, and it's funny. And it's, and it's really funny that, you know, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, people are found, you know, diamonds in the rough kind of thought process. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I, I really, you know, I always thought it was funny because when I was growing up, you know, age 18, 19, 20, uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah I kind of, I kind of prided, <laughs> I kind of prided myself on, I could get anybody to do just about anything, right? you know, just by talking to them, you know, uh, just make Sweet it talking to them. Basically, yeah, but the women were falling all over at your shoes. No, that they were wasn't, they, they were not. <laughs> but there was. Oh yeah, there, you should have seen Flipper back. Yeah, there. right. Flipper was just oh, as yeah. big as he is now, and just as bald. Uh, but you know, she did rat tail work. In. Yeah, the rat tail. I remember that. <laughs> But no, I mean, you know, you you could go pretty much up to a complete stranger and get a lot of information back then, and mm -hmm. it was super easy, super simple because you just had to befriend them, and they they uh, do things for you. Yeah, I mean, it was just that way. Nowadays, it's a little different, a little tougher. Now it's I I gotta say I've seen a change in society. It's all about sex. Uh, if you can't do something monetarily or sexually for me, I don't want to talk to you. Right. And, and that's pretty much, you know, how it works. Guess who's here? Whoa. Bye. Bye. Uh, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew sees Seth up. He's like, I'm going. Oh, wait, I got to crawl under the camera. That is so funny. His best friend's here. I know, right? He's been missing him. But you know, I mean, it, it's really a different different world nowadays. I mean, you know, you, you see so many people <clears throat> get hacked. I bet you probably the sex split thing that got hacked here probably was hacked by somebody, you know, sweet talking somebody. Hey, I'll 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 play with you, baby. Oh look, right. and here's here's the database. How did I get the database? Oh look, I got it. You know, Zing. Uh, maybe that's not how it worked, but you know, it's still yeah, hey, you never know. You know, it, it's still. It's still the the way it kind of works. I mean, you could see how a lot of so people. So your gripe is that the women, the women got this, reached out to uh, the some, women. The women got the this power, man. I don't know. I think I think this whole power thing is just the women can run this country. Don't forget it. Wait a minute. They already run the country. Is they what do you're run saying. This I was gonna say the guys. And the I'm guys okay just pretend. That. The guys just pretend. They I'm just, not. They just feed us. Yes. There you go. Right. And I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'm okay with that. I think uh, I think I like a little bit of both. I think sides. we're getting pol political here in Tech Talk. Life. Are we? I don't think so. Not yet. Would you like to get political? We could. Nah. 
How about that judgeship race in the Sonic of All? <laughs> That's fun. Right. But, but yeah, I just uh I I guess I guess I was just fascinated by the article just to see that, you know, once again <laughs> the battle of the sexes come out of nowhere. You right. Know? And it's just like, wow, they're better at it than you guys are, you know, and so it's like, well, I suppose. I suppose. We'll give but, them this one. But this I one. gotta I gotta say I gotta say, I would have loved to compete in that that competition. It would have been, been fun. fun. It would have. Yeah. Probably wouldn't have done as good as I used to be able to do, but I, that, that still would have been fun just to see if I could do something. Right. You know? Nice. But yeah. So I mean, that, that's my gripe. I guess you know that was about all I could come up with. Gripes, I guess. I could come up with another gripe real quick if you want me to. What? And what gripe might that be? Well, that you know, moving out to Illinois. <laughs> ah! Right there, you go. Right. Ah! Where it's like huh. 20 degrees warmer today. It's like, it's like 55 compared to like 35 here. Yeah, right? It is freaking cold up here in New York today. I love it. So give us a call. 315-220-0692. It was snowing this morning, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was just bits like, and pieces. Yeah, I was like, yeah, get out of here. Parts are parts and parts are parts. Yeah. Pieces, parts and parts are parts. <laughs> okay, Ed McMahon. <laughs> Holy cow, that's great. Um, What's your other grape? <clears throat> Well, I got an article to talk about, but you know the the gripe is is that uh, we we have such a divide on what we call freedom of speech freedom. anymore. Yeah. Okay. And the question comes down to, and and this has always been my question, anyhow, is the fact that okay, if we. Did he just jump up there? The, the chair spun and yep. he just launched himself? Hey, yep, sure did. That was funny. It was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think I think my big thing is is that we talk about freedom of speech. We talk about uh, what we can and cannot do. But then we turn around and we say, well, we really don't want this or that or the other. And this right. is what I'm talking about. And we're going to clear that up in just a second. Let's hear it. Instagram cracks. This is the, the headline. Okay. Instagram cracks down on drug related hashtags. Okay. So the first line of this article basically says drug dealers might need some new Instagram slang as Facebook owned photo sharing site is apparently cracking down on narcotics related hashtags. Yes. Okay. So drug dealers turn simple words into keywords right so as they do normally do right okay right. what are you going to do continue to ban words until you can't <clears throat> speak anymore i mean that's that's where i'm having this problem you want to crack down on drug dealers you watch you, you know you you report people for doing stupid stuff you don't right. start you know taking taking off words or saying that you can't speak or do something or whatever i i just i don't i don't agree with the way they're handling it right uh and i think it's i think it's Partially the new Facebook self righteousness that's come down the pike with the new company. Mm -hmm. You know, now that you know there's a lot different mentality now because they're they are a publicly owned company now. Correct. Um but you know, it, it's kinda like one of those things. People will sit here and say, Well, it's everybody's responsibility to crack down on drugs and you know, this is just one of those steps in the process by you know, making sure electronic. So what do we do? We start taking keywords or we watch traffic and keywords and emails. So everybody and start switch over to a different app. Right. I mean, I don't it know. It doesn't monitor as much. Or, right. I mean, there's uh, so many places that you, I mean. Because there's an app for that. Right. Well, you got you got Hacker's Den. Okay. Hacker's Den right. is, has always been unmonitored except for by the NSA and, and different Homeland Security uh, places. Uh, hacker's Den is full of drug dealers, full of. Hackers that have hacked passwords, they could easily go get low low sec and um, uh, anonymous. Probably find most of them by monitoring that whole site, and I mean monitoring it well, and then going and getting them. But instead, we make the choice to just <coughs> monitor them so we can try to find everybody. It's it's because they do want to violate freedom of speech and stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference between criminal activity and freedom of speech, right? Right. So my point is, if if we're really just going to sit here and we're going to rely on people like Instagram and Facebook to continue to take away words and hashtags out of their service, Facebook, please. 
Right. They become the Facebook police <laughs> who's trying to act in the war against drugs. Yeah, right. My point, okay? Forget it. Monitor it. Report it. That's Move all you got to do. Move on. You're right. Right. Not your job. Have so that's day. my other gripe of the week. But anyway, so I'll, I'll that walk. That sounds great. What? There were great ones, actually. Because I didn't have one. Oh, okay. So. Oh, you're saying my gripes were great ones. Yes. Oh, well, thank you. Ones. Yes. Uh, okay. So let me just finish the article since I started it. Instagram cracks down on drug-related hashtags. Drug dealers might need some new Instagram slang as Facebook-owned photo sharing site is apparently cracking down on narcotics-related hashtags. According to the BBC, Instagram has blocked searches for certain hashtags after it was revealed that dealers used those terms for advertised available goods. Hmm. Uh, let's see, the quote here is from Instagram spokeswoman, but the, uh, no name. So, Instagram has cl a clear set of rules about what it is and isn't allowed on the site. I agree. I'm totally agreeing on this. Okay. We encourage people who come across illegal or inappropriate content to report it to us using the built-in reporting tool next to every photo, video, or comment so we can take action. Right. I'm good with that thought process, too. Okay? Uh, okay. People can't buy things on Instagram. We are simply a place where people share photos and videos. And that's what it comes down to. So Let it be. So how are deals completed? It appears the sellers and buyers converse via message services like Kik or uh, what WhatsApp. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, complete <laughs> transactions via PayPal and send the goods through traditional mail service. Hang on a second. Oopsie. Hold on a second. That's where you're going to get in big trouble. This article should never exist right now just based on the United States Postal Service was supposed to be monitoring for illicit illegal drugs and other things that shouldn't be being through the post service. That's where you're going to get yourself in trouble. Yeah. Okay. You're yourself in big trouble. If, I am, if I'm totally wrong, give me a call. I would love to discuss this. Yes, 315-220-0692. But this whole article, this whole article should never exist. There should They should be able to sit there and do this all day long. Yep. And then when they ship their stuff via... You know, just like I shipped my pants last night. Uh, <laughs> you like that? Took me a second. There. Yeah. Ah, ah, I got gotcha. you. So <laughs> you know, so they ship the stuff via uh, UPS or mail. Uh-huh. End of story. End of story. They go after the people who sent it. They go find the fingerprints. They go get the people. They pick them up. Merry Christmas. The drug ring's gone. Have a nice day. Right. Please drive through. Right. Right. I mean. That's what the United States Postal Service said back when the drug war started, was that they were going to monitor these packages for illegal or illicit drugs. Right. And or items. Evidently, evidently, the United States Postal no, Service not is doing, not doing that. Or not doing so well. Uh, I would probably just say they're not doing it. Because I mean if, if they can if they can write an article like that and really mean it. Right. And I mean really mean it. That's I'm sorry. Cool. Anyhow. Anyhow. What's done up? with the grapes, are we? I'm done with the grapes. Nice. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to eat some more of my muffin. You can talk for a while. Nice. Of course, you know, I truly, since this is our last episode, I truly miss, you know, our holiday season. So I thought I'd do a quick thing, an article I read, must have iPad accessories for your holiday season or gifts for your holiday season. Right. And the first one, of course, for your iPad accessories is a camera connection kit. Camera connection kit. Yep. This is where you take pictures and then it stores it on your phone. Well, it's a it's a device where you plug it into the port where you charge your, um, your phone, your, your port. iPad or whatever. And you, you can plug in an SD card into the bottom of it and the connection. You can download your pictures onto it. That's kind of nice. So an SD card reader. Yeah, it's what they call the camera connection kit. Oh, it's an SD card reader, got so, it. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. And that's... Uh, that would be kind of nice, especially if you got an iPad or an Android phone that could do it, or Android tablet that could do it as well, because that could be your storage device while you're at a wedding. Right. You know, you run out of space, you just hook it up, drop the files down, race the card, put it back in the camera and go. Yep, $29 connection kit. Nice. 
Oh, that's another holiday gift is a digital AV adapter for your iPad. So you can more play. portable, more flexible than an Apple TV. Apple's HDMI connector comes in two versions, a 30 pin and a 40 and a lightning pin. $39, $49. Wow. So, respectively. So that would be kind of cool. That sounds like it'd be pretty cool. Um, how about, of course, everyone's favorite Apple TV. Okay. Got to buy Apple TV. Nearly, what is it, 30? No, I jump right over that one. $99 at the Apple Store. Streams video as well, but um, excels at being a wireless TV kind of do it for iOS devices as well. So, Apple TV. $99. So, Apple TV. So, you can actually, you can actually take <coughs> wirelessly connect your iPhone to the TV iPhone, iPad, your right. laptop, whatever you want to cool. hook to it. That sounds good. Then you just use the internet and watch TV through you know, your iPad. Whatever you want, right? Right. How about a lightning to 30 pin adapter? A what? Thanks to the shift lightning connector, your iPad's now split between the world of a 30 pin and a lightning accessory and charging cable. So it's just an adapter. You can use your old 30 30- pin. Gold 30 pin for your iPhone 4S to charge your new iPad. We've got the smaller right. charging port. It's just I don't know. You know, here's how stupid this is. I do not know why engineers did not come up with everybody has a USB port, end of story, and that's what the 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 tablets charge with. Right. What is the big deal? If somebody knows the answer to that, I would love to know the answer to that. I've looked for yeah, it. I, I don't know why they changed it. it. It's stupid. It's just all it does, all it does. Some money. It makes some money. Yeah. I, well, yeah. maybe not, because, I mean, really, one of the biggest things that they lose money on is usually the charger, especially yeah. especially since they usually go bad first, first, and usually it's before the warranty, so they're sending out more chargers than they really need to. Yep. But then after the warranty, then, yeah, then it's up to the user to buy it. But, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It's supposed to be holiday. Happy, 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 happy. happy. We're all happy, right? Right. And, of course, uh, number five is a good bag to carry your iPad in. And they uh, suggest one of their favorites is Tom Bin, B-I-H-N, Bin, Vistero for an iPad carrier. I've never heard of it. It's a rugged, rugged nylon bag that holds plenty of gear in its uh, main compartment and has extra zippered front pocket for smaller accessories. It's only a mere $135. A mere. <laughs> <laughs> it's only well, hang on a second. After you bought your iPad for five hundred dollars, right? And then dropped it and broke it. I had to go buy another one for five hundred dollars. No, two no, fifty. Yep. Right, and dropped and broke that one. And went out and bought another one for two fifty. You now have almost a thousand dollars into uh, iPads. Correct. Alone, not, not including the iPhone. Oh my God, I, <laughs> I'd be out of debt if I had your money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, how about a small but powerful Bluetooth speaker for your iPad? There are plenty you of know, good and compact speak wireless mm. speakers out there well that you know play well over Bluetooth or AirPlay. You probably want one for your iPad into a little home stereo system. Two recent favorites was the Jawbone Mini Jam Box and the Bose SoundLink Mini. Each cost a hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks a piece. Okay. Two hundred. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. I got. I got just one comment. If you want to spend money, okay. If you want to spend money, there is a kid out there from Bose that is Bluetooth wireless, uh-huh. whole house speaker system. Okay, for two hundred bucks. No, hundred bucks. No, one fifty. Eleven hundred. Woo! And it comes with speakers that have the subwoofer. You know the Bose speakers. So right. And you just cut out a hole in the <clears throat> ceiling. And you put this up there, and you wire it to a box, like an electrical box. So you got to wire electric. You can feed everything to wirelessly to it, right? Or you can just run two that wire. Would, electric. That would be kind of cool. You can either run two wire electric off of an outlet too. There's a way to do that. They got a little kit for that as well. Right. So if you got an outlet near where you want to put the speaker, just run these two wires out of the box up to where you put it, and then put it in the back of another box, and then Have put nice the day. speaker on it. Right. And they're all Bluetooth and the wireless. So okay. So and they also are relays. So when you play up stairs, saying you put your phone up and you start start playing, huh. right? You just let it go and it plays through the entire house. That's cool. That's neat, but it's eleven hundred bucks. Yeah, so right. if you really want something neat, 
And you want to spend a lot of money for Christmas. 1100 bucks. Bo's, Bo's Whole House System, I think it's called. Yeah, you don't need this little dinky small one for 200 bucks for your iPad. Which is about the size of... I don't know. A stick of butter, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they also suggest a good, reliable keyboard case. Bluetooth cable like I used to have. For my iPad. Mm. So that way you don't have to take up the image of the... That's on the, the screen, keyboard. the keyboard on yep. the screen. I like mine. It comes in quite handy. I got mine for Christmas last year. But they recommend uh, recommending one of the blinking quad ultimate keyboard cases, which are merely $129. I love how we say that. They're merely $129. <laughs> you can perfectly afford You know right? something? You know what bugs the heck out of me? What? I got another gripe. We're not on gripe, though. So. I know. Okay. Oh, shoot. There goes out. I'm going to have to vacuum. That's okay. Um, He can gripe. I can gripe. All right. Gripe. Gripe. Um, what amazes me is the mentality, okay? We've shifted from owning things, okay? Like having, you remember the days when, you know, we bought the stereos and they were all componentized and they had like, you know, 15 speakers and four receivers and two 10 yes. disc changer and automatic disc feeder and Cassette tape, yeah. dual cassettes, man. Right, that and was we the spent best. we spent what two, three thousand dollars. Lots of money. Right, right. The what has happened? The big ones. What has yeah. happened? We've got rid of all that equipment and that stuff. Right, right. Which is now we Michael. spend it on a phone, right, and, and speakers. Yep. We've gone from this much stuff to this much stuff with the same, for the same amount of money. Or the same quality of sound, is it? Most well, close, I suppose. Well, okay. <laughs> I suppose. They also suggested a Logitech Ultra Thin keyboard cover, similar to the other Bluetooth. I love covers, how you say that. A, You're so hooked on phonics. I love it. I am. Logitech. Logitech. Logic Tech. Well, I don't want to say Logitech. I like Log Logitech. <laughs> $99 cover for your iPad mini. You know, Logitech is probably a log house building company. Right. Why do you bring me muffins? I really don't. They're messy. I can't eat them on but the But they're air. so delicious, though. They, they are. They are. Did you get a blueberry one or a chocolate mm -hmm. one? No, blueberry. Oh, I got the blueberry one, too. It was awesome. Because I know it. nobody else will eat How about a like? regular, versatile Bluetooth keyboard for your iPad? Uh, another log Logitech. 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 Tablet, tab tablet keyboard. L-O-G-I-T-E-C-K. $99. Ha-ha. <laughs> We're getting close. How about um, a folio style case or a smart cover for your iPad? Makes it look like it kind of like you're carrying around a little book. Uh -huh. so you open, it turns it on and off, kind of like the covers do. But it's kind of neat. Kind of like the new wallets are coming out with the phones. Mimi, you really got to understand he's looking for Christmas presents right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Nice! Uh, yeah! Nice. Get him! Get him! Here's a right hook, wh left hook, whack him! Oh, whack him or whack him! Bamboo stylus duo. What? A captive stylus isn't technically necessary. You, you could always use your finger, but for sketch artists and extensive uh, annotators, a good stylus is a is you know indispensable. Adding a pen to the stylus is even better. So this Wacka Wacom Bamboo Stylus Duo is thirty nine dollars for a stick for a stylist for a stick. Just got a pen on a pen and a stylus on the other for a stick for thirty nine dollars for a stick for a stick. This year. okay. I got another gripe. <laughs> okay, right there <laughs> for a stick. Yeah, styluses. I don't ever get the, the thought process there. They're just a little with a rubber tip on the end, and they're. Twenty nine ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I'm like, really? I usually buy mine on Amazon, and you can get them for like five ninety nine. So, but yeah, I mean, I can understand because you know, a stylus. You know, you're sitting there using the screen. You're like, beep, 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 beep. Instead of going, you know, look at my fat fingers. You yeah. see my fat finger right here? Yeah. My fat finger. Oh my pushes, fat fingers. My he on your him. phone, I would not be able to type. Now, if I had a stylus, I go beep, 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 beep. Oh, he pushed the wrong button. Oh my god. Right. How do you think we get those uh, autocorrect things where you know all things, the time? Right. And what we got here? Number 12. Almost done. A good set of earphones. I like... I like uh, With a mic. What is it called? Alien candy or, or something candy for your ears? That's, uh, that you can get them at GameStop. They look like M&M's or what? 
Well, they're pretty much, yeah, I would say they do look like M&M's, but they're, nice. they're little earbuds, but they seal the ear, and they put an air gap between the eardrum and the actual speaker. I mean, a pretty good air gap. So your ear becomes like the speaker component. Nice. They sound just as good as the Bose ones, and they're just about as expensive, too. Well, this one's, they are recommending the, or recommend this uh, Clippage Image 4S2 pair of uh, earbuds with the mic. And it costs you merely just under $100 for the set. 100 bucks. What's 100 bucks? <laughs> yeah. That's only what? 35 coffees? 45 coffees? Right. So what do you think? Did we miss anything? No? Yeah, the entire Android list. Oh, an Android list. Yeah, I missed the Android list. But since I'm an iPad kind of guy, I did the iPad kind of stuff. You are so silly. Anyway, give us a call, 315-220-0692. Let us know what you think about our little Christmas list for iPad accessories. Ah, everybody's doing something special today. Call us. Please, save us. No, just kidding. We can, we, we can do free we used, to be, we we used to be able to do that on the air. You know, I, you remember those days? Yeah. Save us. Give us a call. Save us. Give Bring. us a call, please. Oh, my dear God. And somebody would call in. Yep. Well, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think we should. We're definitely going to keep our Facebook page up and running. And oh, we'll keep maybe, everything maybe going we'll do for some, a little while. Keep some posts going on to that. And you know, yeah, I can always slide, slide a free app of the week on there or something, you know? Follow yeah. Me too or something. You could always do a Tech Talk yep. Live free app of the week post or video and just send it to finger Lakes one jim at finger Lakes one he could probably post it it'd be a little quick five minute blurb or whatever or whatever you want to do i'll even set up the template for you so that it does tech talk lies free app of the week, week. you know and week, 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 week. all right i'm gonna do around the tech first so okay let's right. do around the tech can you make sure to count it down right this time so i don't lose nap time, oh, you didn't lose time in 60 time. seconds huh. all right are you ready for this one? I'm ready. Three, two, go. One, I'm already go. going. <laughs> Twenty inch <laughs> Panasonic. You tough. You're counting. Yourself. Will you listen? Will you listen here? Because you're gonna like this first one. Right, Twenty inch yeah. Panasonic TuffPad 4K tablet arrives in January. The 20 inch TuffPad 4K tablet will arrive in the U.S. starting in January, and for just six thousand dollars. Survey Americans intrigued but skeptical of wearable tech. Tech giants like Google and Samsung, along with a slew of lesser-known firms, are all getting into wearable tech market. But what do Americans really think of these devices and services? We love them. Not so much. <laughs> NSA tangled up in Russian ransomware threats. One Whoopsie. of the latest ransomware applications uses the NSA as cover to demand money from victims. Google ordered to block 15 Formula <laughs> One Star's <laughs> orgy picture. Huh? I'm not gonna make it through this because I just I just stopped <laughs> you just there. A, you just had an image. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read those the last two real quick. All right, go for it. As soon as we get through that, that's okay. I really don't care. I didn't beat the clock this week. No. Anyway, Google ordered to block Formula One stars orgy picture. Okay. A French court on Wednesday ruled that Google must remove it from its search results all photos of a former Formula One racing chief participating in an orgy. I love it. I, I can't get over that. <laughs> I, I couldn't get over that headline. I said I have to do that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, God, you know, the, just internet, his name out there, the right. internet and porn never went together, no, ever, not at all. you know? I mean, it's not even like close relatives of at either one, right? Right. Here's another good one I think you'll like, too. Will drones ever shake their military pedigree? Grim stories about drones in Pakistan, the Arabian Peninsula, and Africa, and oh. North Africa hamper their acceptance and adoption for <laughs> civilian purposes. Hmm. I think the problem, I, but anyway, I'll, we'll go back to that. That's another gripe. That's another gripe. Yeah, I just thought of it. <laughs> uh, computers are like, okay, This I love this quote. This is a great quote. I don't care who you are. Uh, and it was by Joseph Campbell, which I believe was a writer, philosopher, and uh, mythologist, mythological. Just person. an all right kind of guy. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he kind of relates biblical things and and technology and a lot of his quotes. So this is one of those things. Computers okay. are like Old Testament gods. Lots of rules and no mercy. <laughs> yes. So that was said by Joseph Campbell. Very nice. So he was very neat. Uh, what I was going to say was uh, the drone piece. Well, there's a couple things in here uh, that just this whole round the tech was kind of weird this week. But the idea of drones, okay, I think the real bad public perception of idea of drones, right? Okay, the fact that they're just big RC planes or big RC helicopters yeah. or big RC whatever. What are we going to just ban all RC anything? Is that what we're doing with a camera on it? Right. Okay. So you know if they have surveillance drones for doing like police, uh, you know, speed. Speed traps or something, mm -hmm. you know, on big highways. They do it, use regular helicopters. Yeah, but wouldn't it be cheaper and easier if they could use RC planes that could just, yeah, they yeah. could literally be Beep. sitting five, okay. ten miles away or a hundred miles away, however far a drone can fly. But you know, you put the, right. the good radio system in it, mm -hmm. and you could literally set it and fly this drone, take off from an airport anywhere, you know, and fly down. Maybe you got enough gas, you could fly the entire length of the throughway. Uh, up here in New York and back on one tank of gas, and you could take pictures of speeders and yep. find speeders beep, and beep, then just beep. send relay that information to ground forces. Right. You don't have somebody up in the air risking their life if the wind kicks up or something else and, you know, they're going to crash and die and then maybe take out some civilians at the same time. Uh, and then the drones, if they're made properly uh, and the pilots paying attention, you know, if it's going down, they can usually put it in a tree, you know. Right. Uh, so play safe. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, they're not totally automated robots. Okay. Yeah. So that's the first thing. And I still think one of the big things, like with the drone idea that I think a lot of people can't get over, is that uh, there's no kill switch. You know, like the, the, the one drone that went batty over in Afghanistan where it started shooting everybody. Right. But those are ones, those are military grades with guns on them. I mean, that's just like saying, okay, we just took a big, fluffy teddy bear, put a bomb in them, and sent them overseas and blew somebody up. No, that's how it works. What? That's exactly how it could work. Now the teddy bear, now, you're, now we're going to get all mad because teddy bears are bad or evil? No, that's not the way it should work. No. What? Nope, that's not how it should work. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused where you're going with that. I said they're just not big, bad teddy bears. You just don't put a bomb on them, let them go on their own. Right. They're, they're controlled. Yeah. Right. For the most part. Well, but so. that, that's, I think that's what the problem is. I think the public perception. That's that, where I was going for that one thing. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Right. It shouldn't. It shouldn't right. work that way. But even, even if you. Sorry, made, I confused you there. That's okay. I apologize. Um, Dear Lord, even, I apologize. Uh, and the starving pigments. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Anyway. Um, 315-220-0692. Oi. So, oi. <laughs> you could be that big, too. Oi. In the jungle, the, the mighty jungle, jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Boomba. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Nice. All right, you ready? Sure. Oh, sticky. I don't know why. Oh, happened. you got sticky. I don't want to know what sticky's here. Well, it was from my muffin, evidently, <laughs> but... <laughs> Go for it. Oh, yeah. Now it's time for JJ's free app of the week. Hey, JJ's free app of the week. And one of mine and Mimi's favorite apps. It's called Moobs. It's a weight loss program and calorie counter that we're using. It tracks your calories in your food plan. Uh, Lou helps you set daily calorie budget. Uh, track your food and exercise and stay motivated and make your smarter choices and achieve your goal. Uh, we think it's the best, most seamless and weightless loss system available that we have out there. Uh, how it works is uh, getting started with losing is easy. You simply download the app, tell us a little about yourself and your weight loss goals, and uh, we'll create a custom weight loss plan for you. Then simply uh, start logging your food and exercise. Um, tracking features on it, uh, you can track your weight, body fat, hydration, sleep, um, your activity, your calories. It's got a feature on it that you can scan the barcode on the food and it will 
fill it in for you automatically. Nice. It is nice. It is a free app. They actually were featuring it last week um, on, on the iPad in the app store, excuse me, but uh, they had a different one that was quote unquote the free app the week that we did. But uh, go out and get it. It's Lose It, a weight loss program and calorie counter. It's a free app of the week brought to you today by JJ's Free App of the Week. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And it's both for the iPad, Oops. iPhone, and Android devices. You can get it on either one. It's free. Go get right. it. Before they start charging. We love free. Yes. Free's good. Anywho. We're just drop. I don't know what I... I think it was just Chrome, but... Oh. So, yeah, this is Tech Talk Live. Coming to you live from upstate New York. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. I only had about four hours of sleep, so I'm four. just kind of... Eh. Something that you normally got is four. Well, maybe maybe six, but you know, like three and three, I get them. I, you know, the insomnia breaks it up. But so how last do you connect- night it was just four, and I woke up, and I've been up since. Yeah, yuck. So how do you connect an HP eight thousand printer to two networks? <laughs> well, one would go to the network, one would go to the USB <laughs> port, which is exactly what we were talking about the other day. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> yeah, Thanks a lot. It. I had to do it one last time. I Come know, on. right? You got two more weeks to do it one uh, last time at work. I, well, at work, yeah. yeah but one last time here, right? This was the last time here. I had to get in there. Oh, can you believe it? Episode 85 in the record books. Yeah, right. Woo-hoo. I just I just can't believe that, you know, in two and a half weeks I'm not gonna be here. You're gonna be out in Illinois. Right. And I'll be out there in May doing some severe weather chasing with you. You <laughs> I tell now, you, I was looking up at where you were going. They have severe weather there. Not not like what you're looking for. You're yeah, looking for the have... big you're looking for the big plains ones down in like Oklahoma and No, they have them there as well. Oh, okay. I saw it. I looked it up. Okay. It says not too far away. Well, it's probably about two hours south of where I am. It's still not that far away. No, it's not. It could happen anywhere. I could, I could just, I just picture it now. You know, everybody kept asking yeah, me. I, like, to find some new I told somebody to the other day. I told somebody the other day that you were going to come down and we were going to go storm chase. And they're right. like, they're like, are you two idiots? I'm like, yeah. no. Well, yeah, kind of. But no. Yeah. Right. But it's so funny because it's like I said, yeah, you know, Mimi and B will go hang out wherever, go to the mall, whatever they want right. to do. Me and JJ will hop in the Jeep with some sonar, radar, Doppler, whatever we can find, and we're going to go right. storm chasing, right? And then, of course, they were like, well, what if it's nice that week when he's out there? Good point. So you just have to drive where it's severe. That's all. Right. Well, there's a 10 hour trip by itself. Yeah, you could drive and stay in a night and chase. The next day and then come back. Right. You're good. Right? Yeah. You're nuts, my friend. You're Ed nuts. West. My son, Ed West. <laughs> Ed West, my son. <laughs> Anyhow, Sony offers PS4 freebies ahead of launch. Uh-oh, freebies. We love yep, freebies. The, the PlayStation 4 will set you back a cool $399.99, but Sony is sweetening the deal for those who buy the next-gen console when it hits store shelves next week. Uh-oh. For a limited time, PS4 buyers in the U.S. and Canada will get a trio of free goodies with their console. Black Friday's so- coming early then, huh? Sony announced on Friday <laughs> the freebie package includes a $10 Sony Entertainment Network wallet credit card for the PlayStation Store, a 30-day free PlayStation Plus membership trial, and a 30-day free Music Unlimited service trial. Look for those special promotion vo- promotional vouchers when you open your PS4 box. Not that great. Not as great as I would have liked it. Right. She was like, Free game would have been Yeah, nice. exactly. Right? Remember the old Ataris? You open it up, you got Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. That was something Nintendo, but okay. Same thing. Same, similar concept. You know where I was going with it. Yeah, but, but that you was open up Nintendo. A game, you, you open up a gaming system anyway, and you got a free game. Came along with it. Well, right. Yeah. Now you got to go out and buy three, four, eight, six, twelve, however right. many you want. Yeah. That one cartridge has got all the games on it. You know, that's when you want. All the all the multi carts when they start coming out with the Super NES or sixty four, right. the NES sixty four or whatever it was. Yeah, that was that was kind of neat. They 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 put one label on it, Super Game Pack, and then right, you know exactly. you open it up, and it had Mario Brothers on it, and yep, Donkey Kong, Dong or whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Those were the games back in the day. Sometimes, yeah. I remember I used to play... Asteroids. Oh, Asteroids. Oh, my God. I remember playing Asteroids. I would play Asteroids for hours. Yeah, yeah, Atari Thumb. Oh, from the joystick? and The joystick, and you had to fire the missiles, yeah. Obviously, we we would put it down on something, and... Yeah! Yes. We were the fastest... Button pushers there were. You had to switch fingers because you get sore. sore yeah, right? um, okay, turn. Okay, next one. <laughs> those were the days. Those, those were the days. days. I remember turning turning twenty one, and I remember going to somebody's house, and we were playing Nintendo with the old square controllers with the A B button and the up down, up down and all around. Yep. <laughs> we'd be sitting there drinking Saturday night. It was always so funny because we we start at like eight. <laughs> By ten, we couldn't see the screen. I know. Like, ah. And it was just like, oh my god, what are we doing? I don't know. Put in the code for Superman. Oh, okay. Up, up, down, left, right. A, B, A, B. Select, start. It didn't work. Give me another one. Right. <laughs> you know. Yep. I love it. It was funny. Grinding <sighs> <sighs> it down. I think it's probably Jim hasn't called in. I know. Last show, last you figure, show. figure you'd be like well wishing and be like, "Hey, we're gonna get back up and running right. somehow or whatever." Right. But he's, he's probably busy with his daughter. He's got probably soccer games or something. Soccer dad. He is a soccer dad. <clears throat> it's yeah. funny. He's starting to get the soccer dad spread too. <laughs> you know, he's right. got the got the big grin and the ghost sign going. Hey. All he needs is the minivan. Good. I forget where I saw the picture. I think it's on his Facebook. If you go look at if you go look at Jim's Facebook, it's funny. Because there's one where he's like holding up. I think it's a. I think it's one of those big foam hands, and uh-huh. it's like, I think he's cheering on his daughter. It's like it's War like, Luindian Lu- ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. We're number so, one. Yeah, so it was kind of cool. So right. I don't know. I guess I, I. I'm just gonna say, well, thanks for everybody who do li- do 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 listen. Who do do listened? Do do listen. listened or yeah, whatever. Uh, be on the lookout. We might be back on the air sooner than we think. Right. But. Thank you for our brief sponsors that we had. Yeah. The soda, the donuts, the soda, the donuts. The um, one person who said I'd give you a thousand dollars if you just play this one video and <laughs> find out of something I couldn't play. Right. Um. Yeah. Everybody, so, the gift, the gift cards that we handed out, twenty five dollar gift cards. That was fun. Snide, snide. You know, snide for doing all he did. You know, so he helped build the desk in the studio and kept us going some days. Right. Woohoo! So, but yeah, it's just kind of weird. Counting down. Uh oh, we actually got a call from Jim Sinecropia. <laughs> if I can answer it. First, Damon, where are you calling from? Jim. Hi. Studio A. Studio A. Studio A. <laughs> Downtown hey, so you guys fast. are talking like this is the last show. I thought this was just a hiatus for a couple months. It's probably going to be a hiatus for a couple months, but you never know. You never know what's going to happen. So, Yeah, it's become a Saturday morning staple at FingerLakes1.tv, and um, yeah, I think people are going to miss it. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, obviously when you get settled out there that uh, we fire it back up. I hope so. We got to rename it though a little bit. We can't just do Tech Talk Live NY because we won't be all in New York anymore, would we? We have to be <laughs> Tech Talk NY ill. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Illin. It will we'll be Tech Talk Live Illin. <laughs> you can green screen yourself against the uh, Statue of Liberty or something, and uh, <laughs> and uh, they will have an illusion going. You can say you're you hosting know, from the top of the Empire State Building. You well, know that you would go. be that. You know that would be so bad of me to be anywhere near the uh, uh, Statue of Liberty. I would be. <laughs> Like be like, this is a French woman. Let's look at her. You know, <laughs> <laughs> scary. So, uh, so yeah, I, I hope you guys are coming back. And sometimes during this episode, you've been talking last show and well, last show for a while. Anyway, yeah. it's just kind of weird, you know. Just uh, you know, I, I don't know. It feels like you know one chapter's closing, next one's open, and who knows where we're gonna end up? You know, right? So, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But I uh, just wanted to call and say congratulations. What was it? Is this episode 85? 85. 85. Yep. So 85 episodes in the book over a year, almost a, two years. a little over a year and a half. 
Has it been almost two years? Yeah, it would be. It would have been two years in what September. Yeah, this was our our eighty fifth, I think, video one. We did a lot of voice there. We did yeah, we did uh, twenty twenty four voice ones before we actually got the video going with you. Hmm. So something like that. But right, anyway, good luck. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll obviously be working together still, and uh, maybe like you say, something new will pop up. Yeah, you never know. Uh, we got I still like some of JJ's ideas that he had, and uh, <laughs> you know, if you're still interested, we can still pull those off. Uh, you know, and and, I, and hopefully you train JJ up, Phil, and uh, and uh, the equipment and stuff, so he can get his own home studio going. And <laughs> there you go. So okay. Studio B in Fayette. <laughs> there you go, right? <laughs> it won't just be across town. <laughs> right. Yeah, it'll be well, it'll be across town. So. We gotta figure Flipper's gotta figure out how we can uh, interconnect the two of us on the same screen at the same time. Yeah, that's that's two the only problem locations. I'm I'm trying to figure out how to get it to work, but eh. A lot We're, of uh video switchers nowadays have uh Skype integration. Well right, so but it could be as simple as that. Yeah, you there know. you go. Right. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how we can get it to work. It'd be fun. Uh, who knows? Who knows what what's going to happen? I mean, right? We're just kind of playing it by ear. I know I just got to get the house packed up because I'm down to two weeks before we're moving. So house packed up and get it all set. So uh, got to figure out where everything's going and <laughs> you know what's what's going out, what's not going out, and. Yeah, it's a lot of fun moving everything you own uh, across several states. It's uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> Have you so done you, it? <laughs> so if you know anybody you're looking for anything, give Flipper a call, 315-220-0692. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Leave a message. He'll check. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, well, I wanted to, I'm wanted. i glad I got this call in. It was, I know we're getting towards the end of the show, so I'll let you guys go. And um, this is just a... Uh, just a hiatus, fellas. I, I have a good feeling that, that we'll be back uh, after Christmas and um, better than ever. Let's okay. Hope so. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to try, Jim. All right, fellas. And Phil, good luck. I will talk uh, We'll talk off the air, but uh, but good luck. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys. All right. Talk thank to you, you later. Talk to you later. Yep. All right. Bye. Bye. And that ends this week's Tech Talk Live, episode number 85. Last one with Flipper in New York. So, <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. So It's been an interesting ride. It has. And I thank you for it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming along for it. It was just a simple idea. Hey, I think Freaking Leaks One's looking for that some... Was, that was looking, funny. Just looking for some feed. Yeah, right? For this we thing, said, yeah, sure, for let's do it. Finger Lakes TV, Finger Lakes One TV that they're going to be doing. I remember <laughs> when we set up that card table down here and tried to do the audio bit the whole way. And that was all right. That was all right, but we almost dumped it a bunch of times. <laughs> You know, well, I really didn't want to dump, you know, three, four hundred dollars worth of microphones. And <laughs> right, it's just an idea. Hey, what do you think? Next thing you know, here we are. Yeah, here we are. Right. Yeah. We Eighty-five years later, or eighty-five yeah. years later, eighty-five, 85 episodes. Uh, episodes later. <laughs> yeah. From funny. voice to video to. We got our cats, you know, always going coming in here. You know, Oscar yep. and Jakey coming in and checking things out. So it was fun. Yeah. Thank you for everyone for the support. Definitely. Mimi, B, JJ, MJ. All the listeners. All the you listeners. Know, hopefully, Snide. hopefully. Hey, hopefully, yes, nine. Yeah, everybody. Yep. I mean, everybody on Facebook, you know. Cool. Uh, so hopefully, with any luck, it'll be. Can I keep your eyes open? We'll be back. Hopefully. Yeah, who knows? Who knows how and why? Right. You know, who knows? Maybe you'll be out there with me before that, too. Yeah, <laughs> you never know what may happen. Yeah, right? All anyway. right. You've been listening to Tech Talk Live here, live on FingerLakes1.com, FingerLakes1.tv. I'm Fliver. And I'm JJ. And we're out of here for this weekend and for a little while, so we'll catch you later. See See ya. ya. You've been listening to your technology talk show. Tune in next time to Tech Talk Live.